Our second award goes to Jeff Shields. As a graduate of the University of Pittsburgh and Temple University, Jeff Shields has worked mainly in the clinical, industrial, corporate setting, including the last 16 years at Central Pennsylvania Rehabilitation Services. He has been a pioneer and role model for the profession within this setting, developing and directing excellent practice opportunities and professional development of athletic trainers. Jeff has been instrumental in educating athletic administrators and coaches on the value and need for athletic trainers in their schools and for having team physicians for their athletic programs. He has been responsible for helping more than 23 high schools and colleges hire athletic trainers when they couldn't or wouldn't hire them as full-time employees. Jeff also promoted athletic trainers as physician extenders long before the term in practice became popular. In the process, he has developed hundreds of athletic trainers who were excited about the profession and the practice of athletic training. As a NATA VOC provider for the past 34 years, Jeff is most proud of directing, creating, and hosting over 200 continuing education lecture series for athletic trainers, physical therapists, and other healthcare professionals, all of them for free, and being the first NATA BOC provider to host an evidence-based lecture series in South Central Pennsylvania. Jeff deserves the Distinguished Merit Award for his excellence as an athletic trainer in the clinical, industrial, corporate setting. His vision, service, and work ethic allows him to demonstrate and instill his positive influence on athletes, students, professional organizations, and our profession as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2016 Distinguished Merit Award winner, Jeff Shields. I guess to follow, to follow Sonny, let's say double wow, right? <laughs> but uh, big thank you to board of directors, uh, obviously honors and awards. I am so honored, so proud to be a part of this team. The most compassionate, caring team I've ever been involved with. Uh, George Hallis said it the best former Chicago Bears owner, coach. It starts with team and it ends with team. And that's as basic as you can get. And when I talk about team, it's everybody in here, everybody that has touched me and allowed me and given me this honor to get to this point. I can never thank everybody to be at this point. Everybody in this room has probably been a part of a team. Many of you played Little League Baseball youth soccer i know berkey played youth soccer everybody's been a part of the team that team might have been three years four years maybe five years i've been blessed enough to be a part of this team for over 30 years 30. now big burke's sitting there going 30 that's nothing i got you double <laughs> so and i thank myself every single day i leave the house to be an athletic trainer I'm going to try to hold it in. Um, <clears throat> Yvette used the color thing. I'm Italian, so I show my emotions. But, uh, so I'm going to try and hold it here. But a few weeks ago, I got the call from, from John Moyer, one of the most passionate, one of the most personable Pats presidents we have ever had. Enjoy serving with you and for you. <clears throat> but John calls up and um, says, hey, you, you, you've won the DMA award and uh, after a lot of crying and, and being very humble 
and very honored and very surprised and very shocked. Uh, after a few days it set in, I took the liberty and I wrote thank yous to many, many of the former DMA award winners to thank them and to allow me to be a part of their team. And I wrote those thank yous. I didn't want anything back. That's not the purpose of writing thank yous. I just wanted to tell them I hope I can stay and hit your standards that you have as a DMA, as part of the DMA. And I got some returns. I never expected it, but I did. Bobby Shank, I don't know if he's here now. Shanky called me up, left a beautiful, beautiful voicemail message. Never expected that. Um, just today, Mark Kepler, AJ, warm, passionate, caring handshakes and said, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Coop. My man Coop called me yesterday, going into a conference, gave me the bear hug. Congratulations. A lot of you know Coop as NATA secondary, but I'm going to tell you something. He's phenomenal at that. He's even a better husband, father, and friend. He's the best. Love you, Coop. Last but not least, I got an email Sunday night. You know, I usually Sunday night, everything's over. I said, try to do some emails, catch up before I get to work. Phil Donnelly. Email from Phil Donnelly. 1985. 85 DMA Award winner. He's the godfather. <laughs> I'm getting an email from Phil Donnelly. I'm going, this DMA thing must be really, really cool. It's a really big thing. And as always, Phil Donnelly, detailed email. Detailed. Long. Long. Polite. Polite. Everybody that he touches, polite. And you've touched me. And it was engaging. Thank you. <clears throat> that award over there is not my award. That award over there has thousands and thousands of fingerprints on that award. Thousands. Every AD, every student athlete, every coach, every parent, every staff member I've been involved with, every curriculum director, everybody at Pitt, everybody at Temple, everybody at OIP, everybody at CPRS, touch that award. Those fingerprints are on there. That's not my award, and I know that. There are some fingerprints on there a little bit bigger. One of those fingerprints, when you get a chance, pull out your phone, Google, high moral, high character, the ultimate friend. You'll get a picture of Sandy Bush. Thank you. There's also another print on there. Not always a fingerprint, sometimes a footprint on that award. The most beautiful person in this room that makes our family go my heartbeat, my wife, my beautiful wife, Lori. She takes the phone calls. She takes the emails when I'm not there. She raised our three boys, Daniel, Michael, and Kyle, who couldn't be here this evening. Johnny Post was one of their athletic trainers for Dan, our, our oldest son. It's just awesome how athletics connects, connects, shrinks the world. Who would have thought John Post, a student intern of mine, he's here helping, giving the award. It's, it's just crazy when you think about how athletics and what we do and our team, how it connects everything. So I can never, ever thank my wife enough. Her name's Lori. Most people know her as Chief. Um, met in college, and there's no doubt about she is the Chief. The Steelers have their Chief. We have our Chief. So I am so grateful and so proud to have her to be our heartbeat. I'm nothing, nothing without the chief. I challenge everybody in this room, I can guarantee you in this room with this passionate team, you think about one of the coldest beers you ever drank. It's probably someone in this room or someone in this profession or someone on this team. Think about the, the most laughter, the hardest laugh you've ever had in life. Probably someone connected to this beautiful profession. 
Think about one of the cries that you might have experienced, probably experienced with someone in this room. I'll talk about how people are so compassionate. My oldest son, just a few months ago, sick, in the hospital, could not figure out his diagnosis. Obviously, Chief and I were sick, going to work, working 10, 12 hour days, coming home, don't know if he's getting out of the hospital. I get an email, I get a text email, lengthy, Wes Malcolm. anything I can do, let me know. That's compassion. That's this team. That's why I love going to work. That's why I love being called an athletic trainer. We're unique. Our DNA is to help everyone and to help ourselves. Love you, Wes. You look better on Rose Bowl Parade, but you look good over there, though, too. I'll let you know that. So, in closing, in closing, you never want to be on the undercard in life. Nobody remembers Ali Frazier, who was on the undercard. Nobody remembers that. But today, in this arena, with this team, and these people, and these professionals, I am so lucky, so blessed, so grateful to be on the undercard for West, for Thunder, and for Little Berkey. I am so blessed. Um, so again, Harold Pitt, Berkey. <laughs> Again, I thank you, and trust me when I tell you this, that is not my award. It is everybody in this room, everybody I'm lucky enough to touch every day, whether close or far away. I am so proud to be an athletic trainer. God bless.